After several days of massive protests against the elected President Mohamed Morsi, the military removed him on July 3rd in what is widely seen as a coup d'etat. Here in Egypt, we don't call it a coup. Professor Saad Adin Ibrahim is an award-winning Egyptian fighter for democracy and a supporter of the revolution two and a half years ago against Hosni Mubarak, who had imprisoned him three times. This is more commonly a term used by the Muslim Brothers and by Western media. So we used the more neutral term takeover with Rania al-Malki, a liberal Egyptian commentator and online newspaper publisher. First, I just want to call things by their names. Um, this was a military coup. But that is a minority view among Egyptian intellectuals. The military did the only thing that they could. It is the people who really went up in arms. And it was the army that was trying to catch up with them. The unprecedented number of people who took onto the streets, 30 million. There's this big illusion that 30 million people came out on June 30, and that's a huge, huge, huge illusion. It is a big, big lie, and, and it was orchestrated by the army. Al-Malki acknowledges there were several million anti-Morsi protesters, but she says they wanted early elections, not a military takeover. So was the military rescuing the country from a Muslim Brotherhood-dominated government with an unpopular Islamist agenda, or did the generals use the protesters to legitimize a power grab? Both sides answer in stark terms. The one single demand was to combat terrorism. And the Muslim Brothers were labeled as a source of the rising terrorism in the country. This is the biggest joke, but you can't vilify what you don't like. You can't turn your political enemy into a terrorist so you can get rid of them. But that's exactly what the military and its supporters are doing, claiming terrorism to justify the takeover and the killing of hundreds of protesters. Rania Al-Malki draws some grim conclusions. If this is not a loss of moral compass, I just don't know what would be. Of course, the Arab Spring is over as far as Egypt is concerned. It's all going to be, you know, back to square one. It's going to be the sham democracy, the so-called democracy that we had under Mubarak. Saadadine Ibrahim sees the danger, but believes Egypt has a new protection against it. The whole country is mobilized now, and therefore no tyranny could hope to emerge or prevail in this country. That is the gamble Egypt has taken with intelligent people insisting either that it's a sure thing or a losing proposition. Al Pesson, VOA News, Cairo.